if you're in the market for a pull behind trailer for either your bicycle or your e-bike stay tuned check this out and we're also going to take it on a short camping trip here We'll start by just folding up the sides on the trailer itself here. We've got these nice lockers here that hold this in place. Those just go through and clip. We've got these knobs that hold this section in place. So you undo those. Swing these gates into place and put these securing knobs back through. First of all, this trailer is completely steel and it is uh, powder coated black. So it's got a real nice finish on it that'll hold up for a really long time. You won't have to worry about rust or anything. So in the base here, uh, we've got a thick plastic cover for the base of the trailer, but underneath that, We've got this metal lattice work, which actually makes the, the base very strong. Uh, what you'll see here is a solid axle across rather than just the short welded on sections that you find on some trailers. So this is a stronger, more secure way to do that. I like that a lot. So your wheels are held in place by these spring loaded pins. And all you do is take your wheel, which has this skewer on it here. It has a detent here. You can see there's a groove. Slide this in and it locks into place and your wheels attached. Now to remove that wheel, you just simply push this and then slide this back out. Your pull bar on the front of the trailer just simply goes in like this and then again attached to the trailer you have these clips nice cargo container here uh, with their logo on it of course um, it's a pretty heavy what I assume is a synthetic fabric but it's it's like canvas almost and then you've got all this a hook and loop velcro type of stuff inside and the entire inside of this has sort of a rubber coating so you just drop this into undo all the velcros bring these under the top bar and then they just simply go over and velcro back into place so very quick and easy this bracket will be in the box as well. All you do is unbolt your left side axle, put this underneath and tighten everything back up. And then you drop your pin in and clip it into place. So here we are with this fat tire trailer behind my Cyrusher Ranger. The overall width from outside of tire to outside tire is about 32 inches. The big compartment here is about 34 long by 14 inches wide. The trailer itself weighs 44 pounds. And it is rated to haul 132 pounds. So 132 pounds of cargo in this trailer.
This trailer is doing really well. We're pulling it with the Cyrusher Ranger today. I've got a ton of videos on this bike if you'd like to check those out on my YouTube channel. Um, you can definitely feel the weight of this trailer behind on the climbs. It slows you down, uh, but I'm hauling quite a bit of stuff here too. I didn't put the whole trailer on a scale to see what it weighs, but I'm probably in the area of 100 to 120 pounds. I think I'm going to pick this spot for the night here. We've got a, a pretty level area, got some nice rocks around me here. It was a lot of work to get up here with the bike and the trailer, but the view up here, uh, definitely worth it. This is my kitchen over here. Um, tonight we're going to have uh, spaghetti with meat sauce. And over here is my camp. So I've got the e-bike set up right here next to the tent. I'll be pulling the battery out of the e-bike and bringing it in the tent. Uh, put it underneath my sleeping bag try to keep that warm during the night I don't want the battery to freeze um, I'll do that with all of my batteries actually because the last time I went out camping and it got down below freezing uh, my GoPro batteries were no good in the morning so I ended up having to use one of my other cameras but just got my stuff hung around here inside I've got an air mattress a survival blanket over that um, that'll also flip over the uh, the sleeping bag here once I get in um, it's a zero degree Coleman sleeping bag um, the the coldest weather bag that I have and we should be good for tonight it's probably gonna get down in the 20s so probably about 25 degrees Fahrenheit something like that we're up at about uh, 9,000 feet here and just a real pretty area. Um, nobody camps back here, so it's nice to get back in here and uh, and, and see see what's around. Once the sun gets this low in the sky, it goes down real quick up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start cooking, so I'm not uh, finishing up in the dark here. So the fire danger is always really high here in the Colorado uh, forests. We've had about 20 years of drought and all, and the the amount of duff on the ground, uh, needles and all, is, is pretty thick. So um, open fires up here, camping, are absolutely out of the question. So what I do is bring this little propane stove and do all my cooking on that and keep a real low profile flame. So there's no chance whatsoever of anything catching up here. I've only got about an hour before it starts getting dark. While that boils, I'll show you this. The mountain right next to me here has this big flat spot on it. And when the early settlers came into Colorado, um, there are uh, many accounts of the Native Americans having huge uh, gatherings up on that flat spot. I've got some hamburger patties here that I'm going to cook and break up. And we're going to put that in the meat sauce. Here we are with our pasta dinner. Got a nice meat sauce on it. Um, this is, for me, this is absolutely perfect. It's the, the best meal I could have after... Uh, hiking or biking, doing that kind of thing. So we got a beautiful spot here and I'm gonna sit and eat my dinner before the sun goes down. These cool little barrel cactus are everywhere up here along with your normal prickly pear. This is such a great area up here. Pretty remote. 
um, not a whole lot of uh, houses or traffic or anything back in this area. Got quite a few miles of just wilderness. This is about a mile due west of where we have our camp set up. Um, the mountain, let me see if I can point to it here. Um, back over here, that kind of dark one, that's where we came from. So we rode um, all the way over here. At one point we were way down here in the valley and then we climbed up here. So uh, a nice ride, a nice test for the the bike with the new gearing and also the uh, new trailer, which worked really well. So I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit, see what kind of sunset we get. Uh, it should be pretty nice. We're probably only a few minutes off and then I'll have to hustle and try to get back to camp before it's actually dark. So just wanted to show you the view from up here. It's really amazing. And if you look back this way, now we're looking east and way out here on the plains, um, you can see a few little specks and that is Denver. So that gives you a, kind of an idea where we are. But uh, a lot of mountains between us and, and Denver. Here's a nice shot of the moon just as the sun finally goes down. Uh, it's pretty dark over here and GoPros aren't very good in the dark. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just climb in the tent here and um, get ready for a long night here. It's about going to be about 12 hours of darkness. And I'll see you all in the morning. So we've got the sunrise coming up this morning. We don't have a whole lot of clouds. So the color isn't quite what it could be, but uh, really nice. So we had a real nice night up here. Um, it was a little breezy. You can hear that in the trees, but the area I'm in was well protected. And I hear the trees moving up high here, but there actually wasn't any breeze down here low where we are. So very nice. Um, I kept my e-bike battery right between my feet all night underneath my sleeping bag and that uh, kept everything warm so I didn't have to worry about freezing. Right now I guess it's probably about maybe 30 degrees somewhere right in that area but it did get quite a bit cooler than that last night. So everything looks good. I didn't hear anything move here in the camp so I don't think we had any visitors overnight and I do have my trail camera hooked up over here so we'll have to check that and see if anything walked through last night but I think we're good I'm supposed to be out of this area real early this morning so I'm going to go ahead and break down camp, get it loaded up into the uh, little trailer here and all of that before I even make breakfast. And then I'll go do that and we'll be back on the trail. My breakfast is still hanging safely in the tree, so that's a good thing. Uh, nothing bothered it overnight, so I'm going to get that down now. Okay, the sun's coming up now and uh, it's time to make some breakfast here. I've got eggs and bacon and my camp is all packed up and back on the trailer here. So the bike's got the battery back in it and everything's ready to roll out of here as soon as I have breakfast. So I'm heating up some water now, gonna make some coffee and then I'll start cooking. Okay, got my hot coffee and my breakfast is starting to cook here so uh, once we get this cooked up i'm going to go find a spot over in the sun there to sit and have breakfast
All right, we're getting ready to roll out. I've got some downhill here where the trail is pretty non-existent, so we just kind of ride through the woods in this section and try to avoid the obstacles. Um, but it turned out to be a beautiful morning up here. So I'm back and the trailer did really well. A really nice way to haul everything. Um, it is a little bit wide, so I'm not going in any uh, single track with it, but up like Jeep roads, uh, regular roads, it, it does awesome. So this is uh, everything that I carried on this uh, last trip here, just to give you a sense of uh, what this trailer can carry. So I've got a shovel, a sleeping pad, my tent, this isn't a very small tent by any means. Um, this huge cold weather sleeping bag. If I was going out in warmer weather, I could take a, a sleeper that was half that size. Um, ground claws, extra clothes. I take this uh, trail camera here and set it up on my camp just so that if any wildlife wanders through during the night while I'm sleeping, I will get that on film. I keep a huge tarp here um, this is, let me see, that's 12 by 16 feet, so that's a, a really big tarp. And uh, that particular one's camouflage, just in case I want to do like some stealth camping. But normally in the wintertime, I'm using that big tarp as a windbreak. Um, I string it up over the top of my tent and usually keep one side down towards the wind. And then it also gives me a dry place to hang out and uh, do my cooking and all that if I need to uh, be out of the weather. So uh, i got my camera gear here. This bag is normally what I carry my food in. Um, of course, you got the paracord and all that. It's a bit of a mess, I need to rewind that. Uh, my my camp, uh, camp cooking stuff here, propane stove. Um, these little propane bottles are nice because they I, I can actually get several trips out of one of those bottles. Uh, extra straps. Um, and uh, that's mostly it here. I've got other things that I carry on my waist in that um, little backpack that I carry. Um, real small. It's this thing here. Um, it's just, uh, it's not a backpack, it's a waist pack. Um, but I carry all my bike tools. Um, this is my air horn here. And, um, also a signaling device if I would need it. And I can keep a quite a bit of stuff in that as well. And that is pretty much it. So the, the camping trip was a success. Um, real pretty place. And um, didn't have any bad weather at all. For November that was amazing weather so most of the campgrounds here in Colorado are either just ready to close or have already closed actually probably 90% of them at this point have already closed um, 
a lot of them don't allow any winter camping because they don't like to go in and try to rescue people that go out and camp during really heavy storms and then uh, need help getting out. So they just close them down. I wish they didn't, but it'll probably be several months before I can get back out and do another camping video. So this is, I'm calling this one it for this season. And uh, if we have an early spring or something, I'll be getting back out. But uh, that's pretty much it. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.